Hi everyone, my name is Zach and I'm very excited to introduce you to my latest video training Mastering Sculpting – The Ultimate Guide to Dynamic Topology Sculpting in Blender. In a nutshell, this video training will teach you on a beginner level how to use the sculpting tools in Blender and it will finish on how to get the most out of Blender with professional workflows, tips and tricks. Over 60 videos with a total running time of about 12 hours awaiting you. This workshop is available as download only and only in English language. Digital sculpting is a common task in the CG industry nowadays, for example for creating characters, creatures, assets, environments, but also for 3D printing or cleaning up 3D scans, the sculpting tools are very useful. So in general, digital sculpting is just a different approach on modeling in 3D. Unfortunately, professional sculpting tools are very expensive, like ZBrush. ZBrush is, without a doubt, the most professional sculpting tool out there, but if you don't have the budget or just want to use Blender and open source, then Blender is a very good and powerful alternative. This workshop contains four main chapters. In the first chapter you will learn all the tools, brushes, settings, sculpting techniques. So this is a perfect chapter to get you started if you are completely new to sculpting. Also I will show you some useful add-ons which you can use to improve your sculpting workflows. In the second chapter we will create this little cute monster from start to finish and nearly everything in real time. That means if you are completely new to sculpting, you can basically follow every single stroke I will do to sculpt this creature out of a cube. In the third chapter we will go over to more advanced techniques. There we will create this creature here from start to finish. But we will fast forward some of the parts because we will focus on the main workflows and main tips and tricks and skip the repeating stuff. So if you want to learn the more professional workflows, this chapter is for you. So and the fourth and final chapter is about procedural shading methods. Since we will only focus on dynamic topology sculpting, our mesh will have a lot of polygons and a very bad topology. Certainly there are workflows to clean this up with retopology and stuff like this, but this is not what we want to focus on in this course. We will only focus on dynamic topology sculpting and how we can present these sculptings in a nice way. And this is what the last chapter is about. Besides all these videos, you will also get the project files and some other bonus content. More about this you can read on the product page. So now you may be asking yourself, do you need anything in order to follow this workshop? Well, first of all, you should know the fundamentals of Blender. That means navigation, how to use the modeling tools and stuff like this. Although this workshop is also meant for sculpting beginners, this does not mean that you can start with zero knowledge about Blender. So learn the fundamentals. There are some very good tutorials online, like on the main Blender YouTube channel. There you find good introductions and also on Blender Guru and other YouTube channels. I will put some links also in the video description. And the second important thing is, I would recommend to use a graphics tablet. Because there you have this pressure sensitivity that means you can control how strong your strokes in the sculpting mode should be and stuff like this. I'm using a Wacom Intros Pro M. In general I can recommend the company Wacom. It doesn't matter which size you have. Also with a small size tablet you can do very good sculptings. You can sculpt with a mouse, but yeah, I guess with a graphics tablet it makes much more fun. Yeah guys, I've put a lot of time and work into this workshop and I'm very excited to finally share this video workshop with you guys. Thanks for watching and hopefully we see us in this workshop.